Hello there, I'm another Magento dev. This week it is upgrade week or new release week. 2.4.6 is out. If you want to know how to install 2.4.6, this is the video for you. So, what do you need? You need a terminal. You probably need something like Valet installed if you're on a Mac, maybe MAMP, something like that. Um, you need some way, Docker, you need some sort of environment that you can install into. Um, you, you'll all have your own personal preferences. I use Valet Linux Plus. Um, and as you can see, I've CD'd into my sites directory, which is where all of my sites live. So that's job one. The other thing you're going to need is you're going to need your repo keys, so your off keys, which you can get from your Magento account. Um, in terms of the environment, I'm I'm using I'm installing straight into PHP um, 8.1 uh, because the new version is not compatible. So 2.4.6, this version that you're about to install is not compatible on 7.4. Just so you know, you probably already knew. Right, so what's first come first thing that we're going to do? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this command from the Adobe Experience League. Obviously, jump over to these docs. Um, all you need to do is search for installation guide for Magento 2, and you do get the docs. But it's obviously stick with me in this video because it is a good um, way of feeling comfortable before you embark on it if you're a first timer or a beginner and um, it's always good to watch someone run through this just in case there's any gotchas or anything that um, we, we, you know we, the doc stuff doesn't cover because sometimes there's little things that catch people out and so I'm going to install it into my sites directory and I'm going to install it into a new folder and I'm going to install it into an M246 folder And now it's going to go and it's going to download it. So I'm not going to cut this video unless something drastic happens. So you're probably going to see it in real time, actually installing all the packages. It does take a while. I might fast forward this bit, but we'll see how long it, it takes. Um, and now I've got my uh, keys already, which is probably, it, I can't remember if I saved them globally in the system. Um, but as you can see, it's now out. It's going to get the community edition 2.4.6 so while this is happening I think as an overview I think there's now a there's a few um, security fixes as always uh, which are by the way just as a bit of info backwards compatible to 2.45 as a p3 and 2.44 as a p 2.45 probably as a p2 and 2.44 as a p3 anything before that it'll be a like washing their hands on I think so get your sites upgraded at least to 2.44 P3 it'll probably be but that's off the top of my head um, and the 2.4.6 is obviously bang the bang up to date one the brand new, the brand new brand spanker okay here we go it's now received all of its packages and it's uh, running through it's running through its stuff so that's using obviously Composer. Composer 2, by the way, Composer 1 is no longer compatible. So that's another thing that they've um, another thing that they've killed is, is compatibility with Composer 1, but that's been coming for a while. Um, okay, we are running through our install nicely. Yeah, it's getting the base that took a bit because that's a big old big old package whilst we're waiting for this what I might do is I might just jump into my actual project on VS Code so we can see the file system uh, so I'll do this on the other screen I'll call it M246 I called it M246 if I open the terminal so to get into my file system Open here. There we go. Got our VS Code. Lovely. So it, you can see it's installed everything. Um, everything's sat in vendor. Um, it's a vanilla, clean install of Magento. It's all here. Nothing remarkable in here, is there? Nothing has changed essentially. You wouldn't have ex really expected it to. Um, but now we've got to run through the install. So 
we can actually just close this for a second because we can do this in here. So the next thing what we do is cd into our m246 directory. And there we are, I'm just going to clear this up a little bit. And the next step is, as it states here, um, if you're working locally, it's, it's very unlikely that you're going to have to mess about with file permissions. I know I never have to. Um, we've got like some um, boilerplate <clears throat> install application code here, which to be honest, I don't know why they still have this on the docs because it isn't really relevant. I, I don't anyway, but anyway, you've got to change certain certain things here. Um, and open search, look at this actually, look at that. Open search is now a thing, um, and looks like I might, you know, we could try and get that get that up and running um, but I am gonna I'm not gonna install it on that but I am gonna install it uh, using uh, Elasticsearch or switching on Elasticsearch 7 if you like and I've got my own little um, I've got my own little thing for that which resembles this here um, which I would say you guys need to do as well you need to uh, get yourself your own sort of boilerplate if you like that you paste in and get it ready so basically my index prefix I keep all these things the same it's always on localhost it's always seven uh, I always use rewrites I'm not, I asked about the time zone currency is Great British Pounds um, and then I just whack in a, an admin user because it's all local and it don't really matter and um, this I changed last time I was fanning about with docker uh, password of root DB user of M246. Now we've missed out a step, haven't we? Um, and then root as my DB, no, DB name of M246. Because that's what I'm going to call the database. DB user of root. This is how I would normally go about installing, and then my valet config gives me URLs like this so I've got m246.test because that's the folder that I've created I'm just going to leave that there and I'm just going to open up another terminal here and I'm just going to quickly create a database so I can just log into my SQL as a root user on my local and then I can um, create database set it to be m246 didn't I semicolon m246 create database so that's created me a database um, obviously got to have a blank database to install it into right and now I should be able to run this no bother see what happens ah do you know what's going to happen this always happens I always forget this I bet I haven't got Elasticsearch running so let's see if I can jump in front of it so this basically just runs on my system it's a shortcut for uh, running starting Elasticsearch you'll have to have a look I'll just I'll hopefully it starts before this gets to the point where it needs it obviously try and make sure you got Elasticsearch running um, yeah there's a few different ways obviously you could just search for it and find out how to start Elasticsearch looks like that does it I can't remember I think I've, mine's different I think I've got yeah so that's mine sudo i service Elasticsearch start that's that's what I've got built into my uh, ZSH command there what I just what I just ran it's actually running sudo it's actually running sorry can you see that it's actually running this this here Oh my god, sorry about this guys. It's actually running this command. And and it, I've just caught it in time. It's it's installed. Right, there's one more thing I'd I like to do on uh, before I kick in to this. I'm just gonna CD out of this folder uh, before I open anything. I just wanna valet secure. So however you do this on your system, um, M246. So that's gonna give me a secure pretend secure certificate. How am I getting this wrong? What an idiot. Good job I'm not recording this. 
Um, yeah, so that's that's done its done its job and got me a TLS set. Right, so it's given me the admin URL here, which is handy, but I'll show you where to find that once we're in there. So let's just bring up um, let's just bring up our VS code. Okay, let's have a look around this then. So that that's how you install it. Let's let's see if we can get to it on the uh, on the old front end. <clears throat> M. Okay. It should just come up for M two four six dot test. Ah, right. So this is a misconfig on my system. Um, basically, I have to just stop Apache from running because I'm running Nginx um, and it just interferes with my valet it might happen to you if you see that screen it's likely it's this so I have again a shortcut on my system if I just type Apache look it restarts it, it stops Apache um, and then with a sudo command and then restarts Ng Nginx and everything for me so I should be able to go to this now yeah I always get a privacy error locally but so I just push past that should get should get my install okay there we go we're up and running image gentle install if you've not seen this before if you are a newbie and um, you've got your sort of god file which is your m file which is everything and um, and your admin url is in there basically so let's have a log into the admin with the details that i started with another good idea whilst we're in here is if you're about to develop or you're about to run this to test it like even even if you're not going to develop on it is to change this change your um, mage mode from default defaults like how it comes imagine it's like in cellophane wrap it in the box it comes in default but what we actually want to do is we actually want to make it um, we actually want to put it in production mode so you can do this um, on the command line. Okay, so you can do this on the command line and you would go sort of PHP, bin magento. Again, I've got a bit of a shortcut because I'm lazy. Uh, we've got deploy um, and you can actually just check at any point. So I'll show you that one look. It's telling me it's currently in default. We want to say deploy mode and then um, set and then we'll put it in production mode because we're just going to have a look at the admin oh i forgot mode hang on is it doing it if so that's pretty cool because i forgot to type deploy mode set production to learn something every day because it's enabled maintenance yeah, it seems to have done it. Look, it's actually changed the file in here. Look, so it should just run through its um, production mode deploy here. Okay, that's finished deploying. So I got up, I went to it too early, and because I was in, because uh, it was in maintenance mode, I got that error. Right, this annoys me every time. Two factor off. So if you want to just wait locally, you can just basically switch that off. So if you go, let's get 
rid of it. Oh, it's in production mode, isn't it? So I just need to redeploy. So I'm running the big four setup upgrade. The yeah, I can pass that content deploy. Okay, right, so we're in. Um I switched off two factor off. So oh god, right, yeah. Adobe wants to spy on you. Right then, so there we go. We're all done. We're in the admin. Um, it's all working. You can basically put it in developer mode. And start building your Magento store on a brand new 246. Um, there we go, 246. And okay. If that's been helpful for you, let us know with a like, um, bang a comment on there, and I will no doubt see you in the next one.